Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Chris Silvernail, and I'm a senior BI consultant with Pragmatic Works. I'm sure many of you know about the automated machine learning functionality in the Power BI service. It provides a no-code mechanism for preparing, training, and applying machine learning models to your data analysis in Power BI. Unfortunately, this functionality is currently only available in a premium capacity. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through a method for accessing the AutoML features in Power BI without having a premium subscription. This method leverages a pay-as-you-go Power BI embedded resource in Azure. While this approach does not require a premium subscription, it isn't free. This method is really intended for people with a Visual Studio subscription and some Azure credit that they want to use in order to test drive the AutoML features in Power BI. Of course, if you feel like throwing down a credit card and paying cash, you can do that as well. Okay, here we are out in the Power BI service. I've got this Azure Everyday AutoML workspace loaded up. You'll notice there's no diamond. We're not in a premium capacity. So if I open up my data flow and attempt to create a machine learning model, I'll notice this message right here saying machine learning requires premium. Well, I don't have premium, but I do have some Azure credits. So let's go out to the Microsoft Azure portal. Out here in the Azure services, we can just create a new resource. And let's just type in Power BI Embedded and click Create. So I'm going to use my Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. I've already got a resource group called PBI ML. You can create a new one if you need to. The resource name, just going to call this PBI Embedded for Azure Every Day. And this needs to be located within the same region as your Power BI tenant. And we need to change this size. An A1 isn't going to cut it. You need to upgrade to an A4. You'll notice this cost is around $6,000 a month. We're not going to run this all month. We're just going to run it for a few minutes at a time whenever we need the machine learning functionality. That breaks down to about $8 an hour. The Power BI Capacity Administrator, I'm going to leave this to myself, and I'm going to review and create. All right. The deployment is in progress. The Power BI Embedded Capacity has been deployed and it's running. So let's head back over to Power BI and take a look at the settings for my workspace. Click on Premium here and notice that Dedicated Capacity is now available. Let's go ahead and turn that on and click Save. Our diamond appears. And now if I come in and open this data flow, when I click on Machine Learning Models, you'll notice that that message is now replaced with the Get Started button. So I'm just going to walk through this wizard real quick using my online shopper's intentions as my entity. In the outcome field, we're trying to predict whether or not this online shopper resulted in revenue, which is a true-false value. So we'll click that and click Next. In this scenario, we're going to use the binary prediction. We're just looking for a true-false value. We're most interested in knowing if the online visitor resulted in a sale, so we're going to say True, and we'll leave the match label and the mismatch label to their default values of true and false. These are the attributes or features that our model is going to use when it's trying to determine or predict the revenue field. Let's click Next, and let's just call this AutoML Demo. Not the best, but good enough. And let's take this training time down to five minutes. Let's go ahead and do a save and train. Now that the training for my model is completed, I need to apply this to a data set. So let's go in here and click Apply ML Model. And we're going to apply this to our online shopper's intention, the new output column name. Just to make this real clear, let's just do output results. It's just going to leave the default as 0.5. Let's go ahead and save and apply this. Back in our data flow entities, you'll notice that it's added a couple of new ones. It's added a new table for the results and one for an explanation for each one of the results. Okay, now that this model has been applied to the online shopper's intentions, let's go ahead and hop into Power BI Desktop and let's go ahead and pull the data from this data flow into a Power BI analysis. So we just start with Get Data and we're after a Power BI data flow. Let's open up our Azure Everyday AutoML workspace and open up the online shoppers entity. And we're interested in the output and the explanation. Let's go ahead and load that up. Okay, as you can see, it automatically detects the relationship between these two tables. And let's just go ahead and throw a sample table in here real quick. And let's look at the outcome and the explanations display text. Okay, fantastic. Those are our results. We did it. We created a machine learning model. We applied it to a data flow, and we used the output of that in a Power BI analysis. So now we've got to go through here, and we have to disable our Power BI embedded capacity because we don't want to bill for $6,000 this month. OK, let's hop back into the Azure portal. 
and let's go ahead and pause this embedded capacity. And while that's pausing, we can go ahead and go back over to our Power BI workspace, go to the settings and remove it from the premium capacity. Okay, let's save that, double check. Okay, great, that's pause. We're no longer getting billed. Okay, now we can come in here to our data sets and data flows. What happens if we try to open this? Ooh, okay. So it tells us that this data flow does contain a machine learning model, which requires premium to refresh. So in order to refresh this data and reapply this model, we'll have to move this workspace back into the premium capacity. But if we just need to use the data that we generated when we ran this model, that's available even if it's running under the professional capacity. So just to prove that out, let's hop back into Power BI and pull in that data flow and make sure it still has the data that we're wanting. So click on Get Data, Power Platform, and Power BI Data Flows. Okay. Azure Everyday Online Shoppers, Demo, and Demo Explanations. Let's load this data. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay, so our data is still there. Okay, one more very important note. Unless you want to quickly exhaust your Visual Studio monthly credits, you have to be really careful that you turn off that Power BI embedded resource every time you're done using it. Of course, you can turn it on and back off as you need to in order to refresh your model. The first thing I do after setting up that Power BI embedded resource is to go into Azure Automation, set up a job schedule and a run book to pause that Power BI embedded capacity at the top of the hour. That way, if I forget and I leave it running, I'll only get charged for the hour. 